right, <laughs> rock and roll time. I am back. Last time I was here, I didn't see Niall. I think I was going to see Niall. Niall, me Neil. Fucking banging. Great gig. Fucking killer album. Um, met Carl Sanders at the end. Tell him the fucking new album's tits. And he went, yeah, but... Um, uh, um, straight on to that. Um, the day we we're going to see fucking Niall, my mate Mike, he was driving, he turned up and fucking gave me this necrophobic death to all. Now, I got this on CD in a VCLT for Pyface, and it was a weapon. Um, Obviously, I cut it down. That's fucking quality. But then, got out and then fucking banged on the fucking headphones on the fucking. It's not been off the fucking headphones since Wednesday. It's fucking banging all fucking fast, relentless Swedish satanic death. Just. But anyway, the digress. Um, here for Chris because he got two hundred subs. Um, or at Green Saber, and he's done a competition, asking you questions. <laughs> Funnily enough. Um. So. The first question. Um, I've already fucking said this story about the Beastie Boys and power sleeping it. So I thought, fuck it, I'll, I'll go one step forward. Um, I'm going out of thrash stuff that night, back in the 80s. And this album was instrumental in that. Speed Kills 4. Speed kills, but he's dying. Core thorn in the cover with fire fucking east. But I mean, I open to Parasite by Exodus, not a banger. Reanimator, Acid Rain, Death, Holy Terror, Bathory, Nuclear Assault, Exodus, Forbidden, Possessed, Dark Angel. That's what made me go by the old blue scars, it's the death of innocence. The fucking vocal delivery, that's just fucking beyond it. But I uh, just fucking opened my eyes to a lot of thrash. Whenever it came out, nine fucking eighty oak okay, cake, whatever, fucking whatever. Um, so it wasn't all that stuff, but my mates were getting, they were starting to buy fucking uh, stuff that's called Slowing the Rot and Scream Bloody Gore. I liked Scream Bloody Gore at the time, because it was thrashy as fuck. But I just didn't get fucking Slowing the Rot. It was, the fucking vocals were just too over the top for me. I, mean, I, I was used to like DRI and gangrene and suicidal tendencies and that kind of stuff. So it was fuck, whatever, but. Years later, I went back into the fucking heavier stuff. I go into like, but in nineteen eighty nine, this kicked the fucking door open. A good lot of bands I'm in the, the Grand Crusher compilation. Absolute beast. Two fucking ninety nine. <laughs> Two ninety nine. Fucking punk in the cover on fucking logic. <laughs> but I chop a girl is more of an angel. Radiation sickness. Uh, fucking brilliant. Because you consume. Fucking it's street clear about god flesh. So you know, right, right there, side one, just fucking all four of them. It's fucking it up. Then Napalm Death, Terrorizer, both were intensely green and filthy Christians. I mean, the fucking thing. Still seeing this fucking uh, bonds of now. Kind of fucking. That was fucking game changer for my listening to music. Yeah, king career. I'm not going to say journey because it's fucking wank. So if you go, oh, I'm on, my, I'm on your journey. You're in a fucking journey. You know, it's not fucking music, you fucking twonk. Fuck off. Uh, anyway. And then he asked for two albums that fucking were the second album, the sophomore album, that you liked better than the fucking debut album. The day, the day I bought Power Slave, I bought Iron Man, the, the, the self titled one. And fucking I, a few months later, I bought this at a movie for three ninety nine. This is Dark Record. And this was a fucking step up, like, I mean, fucking. Everybody bitches about the fucking production on the Iron Maiden debut. Even Harry Harris fucking hates it. 
And so you ah, see the problem is it's fucking fine to me. It sounds fucking perfectly fine. But musical wise, this was a step up. Aye, fucking in production, they're, they're playing as well. It's fucking in the song that Mothers of the Real Worlds blew my fucking head off when we first heard it. And then our life, fucking Purgatory, Drifter, the title track, just fucking every song is a banger. Iconic artwork, just fucking Iron Man. Um, <laughs> Being caught battering. <laughs> Oh, I was always going to be pungent stench, wasn't it? Um, don't get me wrong. I love the fucking split with the fucking disharmonic orchestra. That's great. The first album for God Your Soul, that's fucking brilliant. It was dirty as fuck. But for me, this has just got mere fucking groove to the fucking riffs and shit. It's fucking. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, fucking aye, fucking brilliant, aye, fucking brain pan blues, brain pan blues, it's fucking, and all, all I'm coming out, it's fucking great, everything about it, it's fucking brilliant, fuck, I love the sense, <laughs> uh, here's a bonus one, slower cult, exhumed, Um. I heard it because um, my fucking mate Pigsy, you know, Pigsy, came into the house and he had the fucking CD, Gourmet album. He's going, fuck, listen to this. Yeah, dude, fucking the guy's vocals are fucking away with it. He's fucking fast as fuck. <laughs> no, that's exactly how he said it, how he said it. Yeah, dude, try and follow the lyrics. He's fucking got the lyric in my face. I was like, fuck. But, aye, uh, magic album. Fucking ace. But for me, Slaughter Cult, it became more focused. The production was better. Um, the songs were a bit more fucking thought out as well. And fucking, there was just so much brutality. Well, I suppose there was, but it was more refined. But it was fucking, I mean, just fucking thing. The Kermit Crescendo, the songs made grind, fucking forged with fire, fucking slave to the casket. Oof. Just fucking utter filth. Uh, right, we have fucking. Oh, I'm gonna bounce around my head. I've been listening to fucking Sleaford mods all fucking day. That was surprising. I got to the end of that and it wasn't as fucking flat as fuck. Right. Right, you all know, I love the fucking, I love the Chromog. Um, but when I first heard this, I got best wishes when it came out off my mate in 1989. And that record's flawless, it's fucking perfect, everything about it. The vocals, the lyrics, the fucking guitar sound, the drum sound, the fucking everything, I think it's just fucking brilliant. Um, I never got this until fucking early 2000s when the vinyl was worth fucking nothing. Every cunt was flogging vinyl. <coughs> I bought this and a bunch of other thrash LPs. I think I got fucking four or five thrash, like classics, like Spring Disease, signed by all the band members. Perfect condition. Fucking perfect. This, Arc 3 by uh, Depeche Mode. Depeche Mode? Why, yeah, I hate this thing, Dave. Dave the mode, fucking uh, Death Angel. <coughs> Might as well be fighting the best mode. Um, Sacred Reich, uh, uh, South Nicaragua. Fuck was that one? It was fucking four or five albums, I can't fucking mind. It's fucking 2003 or something, it's gonna fucking break, but anyway, this was it. I was like, alright, fucking eh, I've never heard this. But I've never seen everybody going on a bit. Put it on. Dun, dun, dun. We got no fucking classic. But the rest of it just done nine for me. Different singing, you see, it's, it's John Joseph singing this. Uh, it doesn't sound, it, it, 
It just seemed like fucking best wishes. Yeah, tell her. Hardcore, hundred percent hardcore. Fucking, I liked it. But I grew to like it and knew. Oh, fucking love it. Fucking amazing, all of them. <laughs> but I mean, ain't no best wishes, but it's a sort of fucking belter, like fucking street justice, fucking survival the streets. Oh, hard times, hard times, fucking hard. Oh, brilliant album. And then this one, there'll be a few of you cunts going, oh, fucking hell, if you cunt. Oh, yeah, fuck. Um, should we stop it? Oh, yeah, whatever. You can't fucking help it. You know if you like it. Um, I never got this until fucking 2003 or something like that. In fact, maybe this was in that fucking bunch of albums I got. It was just speaking of it. I think it maybe could be this one. Um, but I just didn't dig the vocals. The, vo the vocals were shite. I liked the songs. I liked the songs when they were done in that fucking live album. Came out the said stuff. The, the, the fucking one came out night seven. Listen, violence. Remember. Um, but nah done nothing for me right I'm going to hit fuck off because my legs are going tits <laughs>